Happy Monday, YouTube. It's Philip Wilkerson back with another episode of Random Ramblings of Philip Wilkerson on this cloudy Monday in April. This weekend, we uh, we had a really good weekend with our family from New York. Katie, Nick, and Jack came down. Uh, we got to spend some time together. On Saturday, we went to the African American History Museum, which I would encourage for anyone um, that is just wants to be inspired. Uh, it's very powerful, particularly for me. It was great to see um, the, how African Americans had persevered through history to get where we are today. And if you don't have an appreciation for uh, those that have suffered or endured in the past, then you can't be grateful for the things that you get to experience um, right now. And it, it's kind of hard to conceptualize uh, how good you have it until you look about what people didn't have. Um, so if you're in the area, I encourage you to get those tickets far in advance. It books out uh, really far. We had to get tickets, I believe, in January all the way for April. But I think it is an experience that everyone should should take advantage of if you live in a D.C. area. I definitely want to go again without chasing around the kids. I want to go by myself to really soak in the history, get to read a little bit more uh, and take my time and looking at the di different exhibits. Now, this random rambling is based on a question that a good friend of mine, Alia, uh, sent to me. She uh, is a friend of mine from GW, and she specifically said, what would you say to young women that are fearful of being moms or that role change or being mothers? And I definitely, I responded to her and said, well, while I'm not a mother, I don't, I can give you the point of view from a male's point of view, um, my experiences about being a new father. And so my experience of being a new father, I was looking forward to kids. I wanted to have kids. Me and Maggie had that discussion. Um, we planned our her pregnancy. It wasn't like we got caught off guard and we really wanted to have kids. But that does not curve the anxiety or the fears or the doubts that um, new young people will have when they're about to be parents. You know, even though it was planned as something we thought about, I still have doubts. And I think some of those doubts uh, stemmed from a little bit of insecurity not trusting in myself, not believing that I was worthy enough to be a father or be a good parent. And I think another of it was a couple of things of losing something. Like when you become a father, you lose a little bit of freedom. You lose a little bit of your priority in your home. You know, you're not number one to your wife as much. Uh, you have to co-share uh, attention with, you know, the children because, you know, we all need to take care of them. And so while I had these doubts and anxieties and anticipations, one of the things that helped me was to read, read books about it, and also to speak to people that are fathers. Now, my father's a great dad, so it was good to you know, have that as an example, but I think it was a little bit more helpful to talk to parents that are younger, that are actually experiencing it at that moment, because then they can kind of relate a little bit more. And those two things really helped uh, develop uh, a sense of preparedness to be a father. Um, in my mind, I already knew some of the things were going to happen. Uh, I already knew that my life was going to change uh, in a way I, you know, that was going to be so impactful. You know, I, I knew it was going to be a good change, but I also knew it was going to be a, a challenge. And while I was anticipating that, I think that doing some thorough research, uh, getting some information, looking up to people that are good examples for you, fathers that you look up to, uh, that really helped me. And, and in addition, you know, while you can prepare for a, tr a challenging situation, it's almost like you can read an interview about boot camp, but you don't know about boot camp till you go through boot camp. The same thing happened for me. Um, I didn't know about how challenging being a new dad was until I've actually experienced it. I still think when I saw some of the examples that were coming up in life, like not getting sleep or, you know, you know, having to prioritize not doing what you want to do. I felt a little bit better knowing that that was going to happen. And when it did actually come true, I was like, oh, okay, this is normal. Okay, this is what's to be expected. Uh, and that would help curve the fear for young people. And what I like to tell a lot of people, young people, is, you know, kids are not for everybody. That's that's number one. And you have to kind of find a balance about what you really find as goals for yourself. You know, like career, if you want to put your career first and whatnot. Um, all those things are things that you need to have just thorough discussions and really analyze. And if you have fears or doubts about that, that's fine. But, you know, as long as it's not crippling fear or or, or such doubts that it, it 
keeps you up at night or makes you feel less of a person and things like that. And so, you know, if, if it's really, really debilitating, I think, you know, you can always talk to someone or talk to a therapist or something of that n nature. But I think that the main thing about fear is the unexpected and to combat that unexpected fear is to just do some thorough research, gather information, learn, um, soak in advice, uh, take, you know, take good advice and take, you know, advice that you don't want and discard it. So I think that that was kind of just in a nutshell how I faced the fear of being a new parent as a young person. Um, I'm really thankful for people that send me questions or find these videos useful for their day to give them a good jump start to the day. Uh, my second episode of the podcast is doing pretty well and people are enjoying that. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email or send me a text. I love having some, a little bit, some guidance of what people want me to talk about in these random ramblings. I hope everyone has a great week and love you all.